What's up folks, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, I'm going to give you just a quick overview of kayaking and fishing the Chesapeake River, which is near Dahlonega, Georgia, up here. As you can see, this is Atlanta. It's a straight shot from 400. If you just go up 400 all the way towards Dahlonega, you're going to go right past the Chesapeake River Adventures. So we're going to zoom in, give you the overview. All right, so Chesapeake River Adventures is right here. This is where we launch from. Um, you can rent kayaks here as well, too. Uh, they're great guys, um, and they're open on the weekends in the summertime. Swing on through. They've got good prices, and they have a shuttle service as well, too. Um, so we'll launch at Chesapeake River Adventures here. As you can see, the river winds around. And the takeout is right here. So I'll give you a better, closer look at that here in just a minute. Um, and that's the, the little shoals that you hit. Um, I think so. Let me see. No, it's this one. That's going to be the bigger shelf that you go through. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but this is going to be where you take out at. It's really obvious where you get out. That's typically, it's a busy river. You're going to see other people out there. Um, Chesty River Adventures is renting um, boats and that sort of thing. And there is a launch right here. So you can't really miss it. You'll see the parking lot from the river. And uh, you'll also see the launch and most likely people in and around the launch. So this is going to be your takeout location. This is Highway 19. I'll show you where that connects. And this is 400 straight out from Atlanta. So you'll go all the way out to where 400 ends, hang a left, and there's your, there's your, uh, your takeout location. So let's see, we'll go on up here to Chesapeake River Adventures. Um, same road, it's really convenient, the launch and the pickup, as you can see, launch right here, same road, pickup right here. Um, and Chesapeake River Adventures does offer shuttles, but you guys know how I roll. Typically you go with friends and uh, everyone meets at the downstream takeout. Uh, leave a car, leave two cars, pile into one truck or two trucks, and uh, head up to the launch location. So Chesapeake River Adventures right here. As you can see, adequate parking. It does fill up a little bit on popular times during the summer, but we've never had an issue with not being able to park. Um, again, I, I drive a smaller vehicle with a roof rack. I'm not trailering any kayaks, but there should be room for you um, if you do have kayaks on a trailer. Um, so this is where we launch. We launch right here. Um, Chesapeake is a easy, easy river to paddle. Um, it's great for beginners, great for people who are new um, to kayaking or kayak fishing. There's a little bit of excitement. Um, you'll see some light rapids, that sort of thing, but nothing outside of a, you know, a single light flow rapid. You know, I don't even know if you're going to class them as class ones, but you know, I guess there's nothing. We'll just call them class ones for now. But you would launch here, um, right here at the bridge. As you go through, you see there's a few. This rock is one that like <laughs> beginners always have fun with. You're going to hit that rock on the left-hand side. There's a little chute there. It's real easy. Some people may flip over, but it's not a, it's not a difficult rapid whatsoever. Like I said, this river is perfect for beginners or perfect for people who are just getting used to kayaking and fishing. Um, so as you go down, there's a few more little shoals. There's a lot of little um, uh, gravel bars on this river to where you can just get out, um, eat lunch or fish from the gravel bar, um, hang out with friends, that sort of thing. So we're going to go all the way around. As you can see, some shoals, but no, no crazy rapids or anything like that. A few more little shoals. Um, there's a spot down here where um, there's lots of rock on the side of the river, which is really neat. It drops off, there's ledges, and that presents a good opportunity to, you know, drop a Ned rig down in there or, a, you know, a small worm, two-inch, four-inch worm, that sort of thing. This is river bass fishing. I've never actually caught any trout from the Chesapeake River, but you're going to get spotted bass, possibly shoal bass as well, too. So as we move on down, as you can see, the water's all relatively calm. 
Um, but what's really neat is you go from somewhat populous areas, you know, over here on the, the west side of the Chesapeake for this stretch, and it's fairly remote over there, which is kind of nice. It kind of gives the impression of, you know, you're getting out into the wilderness. So as we move on down, easy peasy, you may see some people, there's some, you know, dirt roads along the river. You may see some people fishing on the river or camping or riding around in four wheelers, that sort of thing. Um, this is going to be your most challenging rapid. Let's see if I can pull it around. There we go. Challenging rapid of um, this stretch of the Chesity. Um, most people will take this left side here down. And what makes it challenging is just the shelf, right? There's a shelf and then a drop off. You kind of have to hit the, um, you know, thread the needle and commit to it. It's not really a dangerous rapid. I have seen a lot of people flip over, but the key is don't get sideways in the rocks. You know, the second you get sideways, the water creates um, pressure differential between your left side of your kayak and your right side of your kayak, and that's what makes people flip over a lot and lose their balance. Um, so you'll squeak through the left side over here. You can pull over in the gravel bar and watch, you know, the rest of your party come through, that sort of thing. Um, and that's, once you hit that rapid, you know you're getting close to the end of the, end of the float. As we go on down, one more little set of shoals, um, and it's more broken up, right? You can just kind of squeeze through. It's not a, uh, a complete shelf like the first rapid. And as we get on down, we are at the pickup right here where the parking is at so it's a great float it's a great float for beginners again always uh wear your life jackets i'm, I'm huge on that um not only to uh to keep yourself safe but if other people see you out having a good time um, you definitely want to be seen wearing a life jacket because you don't want to influence somebody to not um, so that is the chesity river float right by chesity adventures it's a great one for beginners and it's a great one for intermediate um, paddlers as well too and uh, this is bass fishing um, time for the day it only takes about five minutes to get between one launch and the other um, but the total float time on this river is probably about four and a half five hours so it's not really a full day um, but if you stop and hang out in some of the gravel bars and um, you know, just take your time with it. You can definitely stretch it into a full day. So thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions or comments about this location, let me know. Um, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you out on the water. Take care.